planet will be ours. You lost this war before you started, fool. <laughs> Subsector Aurelia. This cluster of worlds stands on the very edge of the Imperium of Man. From this frontier came the Blood Ravens, a chapter of the Emperor's own space marines. Captain Davian Thule and a handful of space marines lead the raw recruits defending these worlds. Now, another space marine joins this desperate battle. A newly promoted commander, ready to lead in our darkest hour. You are this space marine. And you will tip the balance toward victory. Calderas. We Blood Ravens select our initiates from this world's fierce warriors. Calderas is the cradle and the future of our chapter. Now, the orcs would take it from us. This we cannot allow. that are out in the open. No more right, child. Welcome, Commander. This is Captain Davian Thule, in command here on Calderas. We are battling the orcs that threaten this world. You have dropped right into the combat zone. I am north of you with several squads of our initiates. We are under heavy fire and losing control of our flanks. Move north and provide support. Oi! Some of the Yumi's come behind us! Kill them! That's not leaving us! Sasha, the orcs ahead of you are trying to outflank us. Eliminate them! Well 
well fought, Commander. But the Greenskins will not give us much time before they attack again. I need you and Sergeant Tarkas to take charge of driving the orcs back. Move up to the ruins east of here and prepare to repel the next orc wave. Some old boys! And these Yumis is sparking up me truck! Back through the tunnel! Well done, Commander. Those orcs have opened a path through the hill somehow. Move forward and seal it. can take it out with a grenade. Clear that building. The Greenskins are clearly using that mine as a passage, Commander. Seal that entrance by any means necessary. The orcs have stacked fuel and ordnance near the entrance over there. A well-placed grenade should ignite it and bring the whole cave down. Good work, Space Marines. The Greenskins will not be using that passage again anytime soon. But the leader managed to escape through the tunnel before we could kill him. That was our chance to cut this invasion off at the head. He will show himself again, Tarkas. And when he does, we will be ready. Thunderhawks are en route. Prepare for extraction. Welcome aboard Strike Cruiser Armageddon, Commander. Calderas is currently facing a massive orc invasion that threatens to spill over to the entire sector. Urgent distress signals are coming from other nearby sectors, but we must concentrate our efforts here. I need you to take charge of an assault that stalled on the surface below. Drop to the point marked on the planet map and start pushing into the orc's flank. The Greenskins have taken over a hamlet outside Argus. This hamlet sits on a vital supply route, and all of Calderas could fall if we do not dislodge them. Sergeant Avatus and his squad of Devastator Space Marines held the hamlet alone, but they were finally overwhelmed. You must retake the hamlet and drive the orcs back. To aid in this, I am assigning Sergeant Cyrus and his squad of scouts to your command. His infiltration expertise should prove invaluable. Oh, this guard duty stuff is naff. We should be out stopping you again like we did to the town. Wait, did you hear something? Time to emerge. Rest not. There are some Cyrus to Armageddon in position. Space Marines, heartening news. Avatus, the squad leader who defended the hamlet, is still alive. The orcs incapacitated him, but apparently could not finish the job. Avatus is too stubborn to die. So it would seem, Cyrus. An orc guard position stands between you and Sergeant Avatus. Approach with stealth and eliminate the Greenskins. Understood. charge will bring that tower down. Let's fly. Orc guards eliminated. Excellent work, Cyrus. Avatus's position is on your tactical display. Revive him so that he may join your attack. We simply cannot afford weakness, brother. We simply... Uh. 
damn orcs found another pass through the hills. There is a relay beacon near your position, Commander. Secure it, and we can deploy reinforcements to fill out your squads. Objective taken. Reinforcements inbound. Excellent. Habitus and his Devastator squad are back to full strength. Now, push into the hamlet and eliminate those orcs, Commander. Commander, there is a second relay beacon near your position. Activate it to finish securing the hamlet. Point secure. Excellent work, Commander. The hamlet is secure. More orcs are on the way, Commander. Set up your forces to repel the attack. This hamlet must not fall again. This way! Well done, Space Marines. Thunderhawks are on approach to return you to the Armageddon. Well done, Commander. With the hamlet cleared, we can secure the main route into the capital. The Greenskins knew to strike where we were most vulnerable, Captain Thule. Cyrus is correct. Someone is agitating the orcs and pointing them at valuable targets. If we are going to win this war, we need to find out who is using the Greenskins against us. Commander, the orcs have struck another critical target. The orc raiding parties are led by a knob named Skykiller. This knob leads a squad of Stormboys, orcs equipped with primitive jump packs. Stormboys are especially ruthless orcs that can strike quickly and escape before reinforcements arrive. Eliminate Skykiller. This will buy us valuable time and may uncover who is guiding these orcs. Flagged on the map, Commander. I'm coming down on this. But you'll always be beneath me, feet! Move in for the kill! Race yourselves for me, bomb! Whoa! This way! Lucky me, Like I lived! Loud, fast, and dangerous! Enemy destroyed, Commander. Well done, Commander. We will find who is strengthening this Orc Horde yet. I am deploying a team to search the Orc remains for clues as to who is agitating them. Have we received any additional word from the neighboring sector, Captain? No, we have lost all contact with them. What could possibly take out the communications network of an entire sector in a few days? We will have to investigate, but the defense of Calderas must come first. Commander, deploy to the surface as soon as your squads are ready. Commander, the orcs have struck another valuable target. A powerful orc chieftain named Gutwrencher is leading the assault, but someone must have pointed him at this target, likely without his even knowing it. Take your squads and eliminate this beast before he does more damage. Keep on the lookout for clues as to who may be manipulating him. Gut Wrench's location is marked on your map display, Commander. You got through me, boys, did ya? Guess I got to kill ya myself. Target sighted. We are your death, Greenskin. Oh. 
Good work, Commander. Gutwrencher's death has scattered his orc band. We have found crucial evidence among the remains of Skykiller and Gutwrench's orcs. Both had recently visited Fellhammer Mine in the mountains outside Argus. Whoever is stirring up the orcs must be using Fellhammer as a base of operations. Commander, the time has come to strike in our true enemy. Whoever has been provoking and guiding the Greenskins is holed up at Fellhammer Mine on the outskirts of Argus. We believe that Mech Badzappa, the orc who escaped us when you first arrived on Calderas, is also headed for the mine. You and your squads will drop south of Fellhammer and push north. Strength and firepower will pay greater dividends than stealth. For this reason, Sergeant Cyrus will remain aboard the Armageddon and provide mission support. Who's that in the sky? Eliminate the orcs. Move north up the valley, Commander. Get to Fellhammer Mine and find out who is stirring up the orcs. Here is the convoy. The orcs slaughtered them. We will avenge them. Keep moving. Movement on the ridge! Gone. But those were no orcs. Orc gunners on the ridge! Under attack. Fury from the sky! Cut them down! Reach get eliminated. Sergeant Thaddeus, reporting for duty, Commander. Did you have a pleasant rest, waiting for the most dramatic moment to strike? Good to see you too, Avatus. Commander, my squad can use our jump packs to land right in the middle of those gunners. They're no match for us in close combat. Gunners eliminated. Commander, there is a communications array nearby that we should secure for the chapter. Strategic assets like these grant us combat advantages and allow us to more easily reinforce in the field. I will run a scan on their defenses. Commander, the orcs are well entrenched at the main entrance. A frontal assault would be unwise. A jump, some grenades, and we're in, Cyrus. And right in the sights of the whole orc horde. Aerial assault! Full assault, then. Strike hard and true! Close on the enemy! It's done! It is done! Move on! The array is in our hands. Excellent, Commander. This array will provide us with valuable combat intelligence in future operations. Fellhammer Mine is close by, Commander. Trouble. These are the Orc Guards killed where they stood. Someone else has gone through here. Swiftly! Before the humans arrive! We cannot allow one obstinate Orc to derail the Vossier's plan. Skykiller and Gatrencha! Me cyborg guy says you ain't even orcs at all! Now the humans join the frequency. The fools cannot see the true threat facing us all. Not Space Marines too! Time to lag it! Eldar! And a warlock leads them. Commander, the Eldar must be the ones who have been stirring up the orcs. Kill those Eldar before they escape. Engage my Eldar! Crush them! Find your formation! It is done! Neither killing nor dying threatens me. Feel my wrath, you have.
This is a grave development, Commander. The Eldar are evidently provoking and influencing the Orcs. Their involvement is hardly good news. They claim to be stirring up the Orcs to combat a common threat. What could that be? I would not put much stock in what the Eldar say. They are deceitful and manipulative by nature. That they are, Tarkas. But the Eldar aren't fools. The warlock you defeated may have been guiding the orcs here on Calderas, but he was only one part of a larger plan. We are receiving reports that the Eldar are stirring up the orcs on the nearby Typhon system. The Armageddon will take you to Typhon, so you can engage the enemy there. I will relay all distress signals we receive from Typhon back to you. It still remains unclear what the Eldar hope to gain by provoking the Orcs. Whatever their purpose, the Eldar are using all their trickery to disrupt communications outside the sector. We are uncertain how they are managing this, but our astropaths describe their interference as a shadow across the warp. A shadow across the warp? Those were their exact words? Yes, those were their exact words, Cyrus. We have more immediate problems, however. Mech Bad Zappa is mounting another offensive on the capital, and I need to see to our defenses. Secure Typhon quickly. I could use you back here soon. Thule out. Why so concerned with the ravings of Astropath, Cyrus? No reason. I just hope that casting a shadow across the warp is an ability the Eldar truly have. For all our sakes. Commander, we have located a substantial Eldar strike force. This force appears to be led by one of their so-called Warp Spiders. Warp Spiders are capable of rapid teleportation, which may explain how the Eldar are monitoring the Orcs on Typhon without being seen. Eliminate him, and uncover what you can of the Eldar plans on Typhon. Commander, our scanners place the Warp Spider in the position marked on your map. He will not stay there for long. There he is! Wait... Is he smiling? Here you come, like Google the Prey. Try to wiggle out of this, worms! Eldar! Close and engage! It is the way of nature. The predator stumbles, and he becomes... Prey. He considered us mere prey. No longer. Excellent work, Commander. Without warp spiders stirring up the orcs, Typhon is far more secure. Your victories against the orcs and Eldar have stabilized the situation on Typhon for the time being. Not all news is good, however. We are receiving numerous reports of local vegetation mutating and attacks by hordes of leaping alien creatures. These creatures, what do they look like? Most of the reports are from citizens, Cyrus, and their fear makes for unreliable descriptions. I need you to return to Calderas as soon as possible. Bad Zappa's orcs have gathered for another major strike against the planetary capital. Without your support, I fear Calderas will fall. Commander, Mech Bad Zappa and his orcs are set to overrun Argus, the planetary capital. If they do so, all of Calderas will fall. I have set up a defense at the city gates, but the Initiates and Space Marines there need your support. You will drop south of their position and drive north to secure the gates. I have taken a few Space Marines to the east and have cut off the Orcs' main approach. Caldaris must not fall, Commander. Uh, boss, I think we threw a greery thing. What?! You kids can't do anything right! I'll have to fix it myself! The enemy is here to attack. Eliminate those arcs! You may the ascension heat! Get these crossbutters off of my backside! The orc leader, he's getting away! Make me storm, boy! Kill these kids, boys! 
Commander, that orc is heading to lead an attack on the town gates. Pursue and eliminate him. Can't save your camp now, you kings! Let them fall before us! Appreciate that! to all Blood Ravens. Prepare for emergency extraction to the Armageddon. We are facing far more than Orcs or Eldar. Commander, Captain Thule needs your aid. Deploy to his position immediately. What were those things? A foe far deadlier than orcs or Eldar Thaddeus. More Xenos! Fight through to Captain Thule! Target destroyed. There he is! Commander, I ordered all of you to extract, not to run to your death! Thaddeus here! Engage Duncan. Meteorite inbound on your position. Not a meteorite, Martellus. That is a Tyranid spore. I... Little by little, we are a Tyranid warrior! Avengers under attack! Tyranid opposed! Extraction of relay coordinates. Thunderhawks 3 and 4. Follow with bombing run. Purification spread. The Tyranids are attacking! Approach the alien. May the Emperor be with us all. We face our darkest hour. Captain Thule has fallen to aliens who have escaped retribution. A massive high fleet looms over our recruiting worlds. But this battle is not over. Get Captain Thule to the Apothecary! Hurry! Calm yourself, Thaddeus. Gordian is already at work. Commander, I am Apothecary Gordian, Chief of Geno Medicine aboard the Armageddon. Captain Thule still lives, but he is in grave condition. Many of his vital organs and implants were destroyed and an alien poison is attacking surviving tissues. I have placed Captain Thule in stasis to halt the poison's progress, but as of now, I have no means to counteract its effects. Gordian had better prepare himself for more of us to require his tending. You fear the aliens, Cyrus? I know no fear, Avatus, but I am no fool. Those were Tyranids, alien monsters who strip worlds of all life. There are billions of them, and only a handful of us. 
Have you faced these things before, Cyrus? Once, a long time ago, when I served in the Death Watch. We are going to need all the help we can get to face this infestation. Even then, we will probably fail. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our chapter fleets. This may take some time, however. In the meantime, we need to secure Typhon before the rest of the Tyranid Swarm arrives. Otherwise, our supply lines will be devastated. There is an Eldar raiding party that continues to wreak havoc on our defenses on Typhon. We should return to Typhon and eliminate those Eldar. Commander, we have located the Eldar raiding party that threatens our supply lines between Typhon and Calderas. We have identified their leader as the dangerous Ranger Nemerian. He is apparently coming from an operation in Orc territory. This is our chance to cripple Eldar operations on Typhon. We may also uncover more of the Eldar's plans. I suggest we neutralize him immediately, Commander. Eldar warriors have deployed to defend the target, Commander. They hope to cover his escape, no doubt. You humans always make a mess of things. No wonder the boss here chose the Orcs as our instruments instead of you. This time, you might have been killing Tyranids. You deserve everything that's coming to you. It is done! The Eldar know the Tyranids are coming. That explains their actions among the Orcs. What do the Tyranids have to do with Eldar helping Orcs? A full-fledged Orc uprising could actually slow the Tyranids, Thaddeus. If the Eldar were not doing this on our own recruiting worlds, we could use the situation to our advantage. Using Orcs and Eldar to stop an enemy? Why would we waste our time with that? We Space Marines. We fear nothing because we are fear incarnate. We may be Fear Incarnate, Avatus, but we face an enemy that knows no fear. We will need every advantage we can get if we want to save the Sector. So the Eldar were uniting the Orcs to slow down the Tyranids? Yes. Nemerian clearly knew of the Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the Sector that is not related to the Orcs. Clearly, the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. I will keep you apprised of any further developments, Commander. What can you tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced, Targus. Orcs may operate in vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the Orc horde is weakened and scattered. A Tyranid hive fleet, however is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We cannot break the Tyranids morale or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The Hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow and it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, the Orcs continue to undermine our defenses on Calderas. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids. A message is coming in from Chapter Command. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos aboard the Battle Barge Litany of Fury. I have received word of the Tyranid threat facing Subsector Aurelia and of Captain Thule's grave condition. The Tyranids are a threat of unimaginable proportions, Commander. They are endless in number and intent on consuming whole worlds. The Litany of Fury is now making for Aurelia at all speed, but we are weeks away. I will relay all distress signals back to you while we devise a plan of attack. Commander, we have located Captain Thule's attacker. The warrior beast that you drove into the Badlands has resurfaced, leading a swarm of lesser Tyranids. This is our first chance to strike back at the Tyranid enemy, and we cannot pass it up. 
Collecting samples from this creature's corpse may also lead to a cure for Captain Thule, and could give us valuable information on how to defeat the High Fleet. This area is heavily infested, Commander, so be prepared for heavy resistance. Target the larger creatures to disrupt the swarm. There's the beast! Destroy it! Devastators tied in the air! Well done, Commander. Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the Hive Fleet. Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's vast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Commander, we need to take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far. So be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out. Meridian stands at the very heart of Subsector Aurelia. Billions call its cities home. Its factories and forges are keys to victory against the Tyranids. We must not allow Meridian to fall. Commander, welcome to Meridian Orbit. My name is Elena de Rosa. Governor Vandis has assigned me to be your liaison while in system. This is not the hinterlands of Calderas or Typhon, Commander, so a certain amount of discretion would be appreciated. It is imperative that we secure access to Angel Forge, Administrator de Rosa. Yes, so your Captain Angelos has said. Angel Forge is the most important manufacturing facility in the sector, however. Its use follows a strict schedule set by Governor Vandis and his Privy Council years in advance. Nevertheless, there may be a way to arrange special access to Angel Forge. Meridian has recently come under repeated attack from Eldar Raiders. They have already inflicted substantial damage to parts of our communication and supply infrastructure. The Imperial Guard forces stationed on Meridian are already tied down, suppressing food riots in the lower city. They do not have the manpower to deal with the Eldar as well. Were you to employ your special expertise in such matters and repel these raids, Governor Vandis believes he could arrange limited access to Angel Forge. Eldar sightings will be transmitted to your planetary display. DeRosa out. Commander, I left Meridian decades ago, but this is typical behavior. 
The nobility has always closed its eyes to problems in the Undercity. The Eldar must have raided wealthy spires for the noble houses to even acknowledge a problem. They will acknowledge it when the sky darkens with tyrannid spores and hive ships. On that subject, Commander, initial scans indicate no tyrannid activity whatsoever on Meridian. No activity at all. No mutated plants or slaughtered wildlife. No atmospheric changes. None that we can detect. Check your sensors again, Martellus. Hive fleets do not ignore worlds in their paths. Commander, the Eldar seem intent on crippling Meridian's infrastructure. They have just silenced a major communications array used by Meridian's noble houses. Valuable items were also pilfered from nearby storage vaults. A powerful Eldar hover tank is leading these attacks, and the Imperial Guard has thus far been unable to stop it. If these raids continue, planetary defenses could be seriously compromised. Stay alert. The Eldar strike without warning. It's done. Move on! Eldar grav tank. Fire prism class. The three animals have found me. I cannot let them get our bones. Prelate Benetio of House Toral passes on his thanks, Commander. He looks forward to the recovery of his stolen goods and the repair of the damaged array. Is this liaison unaware that a Tyranid High Fleet is descending upon this sector? We are currently reviewing the full extent of the Tyranid threat, Sergeant. We have yet to find evidence that Meridian is in any real danger. DeRosa, out. Imperium Tech Priests have been working to restore an ancient astronomical array deep in the jungles of Typhon. If reports are accurate, this array is capable of detailed scans of an entire subsector. This data could allow us to uncover a critical weakness in the High Fleet. We will have to make contact with the Tech Priests at their base camp on Typhon and ask for the location. Commander, Captain Angelos here. You must defend the capital world and secure Angel Forge. It will all be for naught, however, if we cannot develop weapons with which to attack the hive mind itself. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. You must also obtain a sample of the hive fleet's biotoxins. Angelos out. Commander, we have detected a major Eldar incursion. A large alien force has struck a series of Imperial Guard positions and civilian transport hubs in rapid succession. A powerful Wraith Lord Walker reportedly led the attack. The alien host is retreating, but we have managed to keep sight of them. We need you to strike before the Wraith Lord escapes. Display Commander. This giant wields bizarre and dangerous technologies. Our weapons will find their mark. Idranel. This could be the Aldar leading operations in the sector. I will contact the fleet commander. Chapter records may hold information on her. Commander, Cyrus was correct. I have finished an analysis of additional data recovered from our recent battles against the Eldar on Meridian. They somehow managed to interfere with our scans of the Meridian system. I have compensated, and I fear there is far more evidence of Tyranid infestation on Meridian than I believed. What's more, long-range scans show the High Fleet is accelerating toward the Capital World. I have transferred protocols for counteracting the Eldar sensor baffling to key stations across Meridian. Commander, this is Elena DeRosa. The skies... I mean, 
This alien swarm is filling the skies over Meridian. Now she wakes to the threat. I... I apologize for my rudeness earlier, Sergeant Avatus, was it? The Eldar sabotage campaign has crippled our defenses. Your help in keeping Meridian secure is critical. Where is Governor Vandis in all this? Governor Vandis and the Privy Council have withdrawn to... strategize. My failure to heed your warnings has already cost hundreds of thousands of lives in the Hab Spires. Commander, I implore you, help us keep Meridian from falling. Commander, chapter records do indeed make mention of this Idranel, which the Eldar Warlock mentioned. She is a Farseer, a witch leader of her people, and aligned with the same craft world which opposed our efforts during the Cronus campaign. Idranel is undoubtedly the leader of Eldar operations on Meridian. The Tyranid invasion continues all about the Sector, but this is our opportunity to put an end to the Eldar efforts to destabilize the Subsector. Best to move quickly. to attend to on this doomed planet. She's escaping! I admit I have enjoyed this dalliance, humans. I may even miss you when you are ash and cinders. Ash and cinders? Tyranids drain worlds of life. They do not burn them. The alien witch escaped! She laughs at us while our worlds die! Commander, I share your sergeant's frustration, but I have far graver news. I have finally obtained the master control codes for Angel Forge and have transmitted them to your ship and to Captain Angelo's fleet. I fear it may be too late to do you any good, however. Another Tyranid swarm is driving into the Forge area. Massive defensive walls guard the approach to the Forge, but the Imperial Guard forces stationed there are being overrun. Your delaying and politicking has doomed us all, Darosa. If so, I'm sure my end will be suitably horrific, Sergeant. I only wish I could say the same of Governor Vandis. What do you mean? I make no excuses for my mistakes, but I have been fighting to get those codes for you for days. The Governor simply ordered me to continue delaying you, and then stopped answering me altogether. When I finally dealt with the House Vandis soldiers guarding his residence, I found he had left the Meridian system for some private retreat three sectors away. I did find the codes for Angel Forge, however. You took a real risk, Administrator. They could hang you for treason if the Governor returns. Governor Vandis turned tail and left the entire sector to die. Your commander is here, fighting to save it. If anything, I was far too slow to see where my loyalties belonged. I think she missed her calling. She should have been a sister of battle. Commander, the major gate in the Angel Forge defensive wall is open. The Tyranid Swarm is pouring through, and we also have reports that Orc looters are operating in the area. Unless the gate is closed, and the enemy driven back, Angel Forge is doomed. Only the Emperor's Space Marines can seal Angel Gate. Defenses failed almost 20 minutes ago. 
What of the base gates? The power supply failed. This silenced base guns and left the guardsmen dangerously exposed. The same generators power the gates. Angel Gate must be closed or the forge will fall. I am relaying the generator coordinates to your map display. You must activate at least three of them to close Angel Gate. There! More survivors! Commander, Sergeant Lasher remains a bit vigilant. You have my thanks. Orc wreckage near that generator. Expect greenskin looters ahead. You mean you swore to take our flash generator? Savages to the end. Two more generators and Angel Gate can close. Green skins coming out of the tunnels. sufficient power for you to close Angel Gate from the gatehouse. Commander, Sergeant Merrick here. My men are moving up to the guard towers overlooking Angel Gate. We will provide covering fire when you make your advance on the gatehouse. Commander, you are near the gatehouse. Capture it to close Angel Gate. Very little about this gate is angelic. Here come the Space Marines. Give them covering <laughs> fire. An allies forces. Commander, we are tracking large tiers of spores dropping near Angel Gate. Concern. Disabling the base generator speaks of some sort of plan. They must want something here. With your permission, I will oversee the mop-up operations. I do not want to leave anything to chance. Commander, a signal from Angel Forge. It is Sergeant Tarkas. Commander, we have spotted orcs making for storehouses north of Angel Gate. I think this may have been their goal all along. Commander, those are the private storehouses of House Vandis. Before his flight, the Governor destroyed the records of what they contained. I can only imagine what weaponry he may have been hoarding, or the damage they could do in Orc hands. She is right, Commander. We must stop those raiders. Commander, you must return to Angel Gate. We cannot allow the Greenskins to acquire the weapons contained in the storehouses near the gate. If the Eldar smuggled the Orcs onto Meridian as you suspect, it must have been for a purpose. Deploy your squads to rejoin Tarkas at Angel Gate. Greenskins to the north! Heading for the storehouses! How do you get, boys? Boss wants you to get the Yumi Sinius bits! Ooh, I love me the Luger! Now we can get her the best beats! Reopen the gate! The orcs are already at the storehouses, Commander. Getting cover, boys. Nothing 
Angel Gate is under attack. The Eldar. The Witch, Idranel. It must be. Can't get a fix on him. Return fire. Return fire. Commander, we'll need your help to repel the attack. This warehouse is full of relics stolen from our chapter. Your governor is a thief as well as a coward. I couldn't agree more, Sergeant. But the fate of Meridian still rests on holding Angel Gate. In reinforcements. She is right, Commander. We cannot allow Angel Gate to fall. I will hold off these aliens and guard our ropes. Go save Angel Gate. Eldar! Go to the gate! Come, humans. This is the day of your deaths. And I am your executioner. You will not reach Ivanel in time to stop the detonation. Detonation? They mean to destroy the forge! The Forge, and this entire world is Yes, the plans were correct. The Forge's power supply is unstable. A simple chain reaction will wreath this world in fire. In Drenel, your wounds. The humans press in. Suffering and I are old friends, Warlock. See to the humans, and I will enact our final gambit to protect the Croft world. My retinue's wards will keep me safe long enough. Of course. Commander, we are experiencing massive power fluctuations. Whatever is happening there, you must stop it. Commander, I commend you on your leadership in this crisis. You have made very significant progress in your battle with the Hive Fleet. And the death of Idranel has finally put an end to Eldar operations in the sector. I hope it has, Captain. But I am not so certain. Regardless, securing Angel Forge means we now have a means to produce weapons for our battle against the Tyranids. We still lack any real capability to attack the High Fleet proper, however. Continue your attempts to recover data from the Tech Priest's array on Typhon, and your efforts to cure Captain Thule. 
Only when we uncover a weakness in the high fleet and have the necessary biotoxin sample can we put Angel Forge to work for us. Angelos out. And thank you for saving Meridian, Commander. I have issued a warrant for the former governor's arrest and confiscated all of House Vandis' holdings. We will conduct a thorough search for any additional Blood Raven relics. You should find my administration to be much more cooperative. DeRosa out. Commander, orbital sensors have located a powerful Tyranid target. This creature of the Zoanthrope genus exists to channel the psychic might of the hive mind. Victory here will help us on all fronts, Commander. We will push the infesting swarm back a step, gaining us precious time. We will also gain valuable information that could help us locate a primary hive. This beast must die today. Feel the thing scratching at my mind. Steal yourselves and advance. The Tyranids are attacking! My mind is my own beast. My own! It is done. Commander, some heartening news. Yes, we were able to isolate the final pieces of genetic information we needed. We should be able to locate a primary hive now. Preliminary scans show a hive on Typhon that could be an exact match. I've uploaded the hive's location to your map display. Planet Typhon orbits a star on the outer edge of subsector Aurelia. Its lush jungle canopy shrouding it in mystery. Among this beauty lie the keys to our salvation. And the roots... of our destruction. Commander. We have located the Tech Priest base camp, but it is in grave danger. An orc mob is heading straight for their location. These greenskins have just cut a swath through several small communities and outposts. Their leader calls himself Gorwaza, and he commands from a powerful looted tank. We cannot let the orcs reach the Tech Priest base camp. If the Tech Priests are killed, we may never find the Astronomic Array. Commander, you must hurry. Gorwaza is already at the base camp. Start me wagon, boys! It's crushing time! There's Gorwaza! Prepare for armored assault! He found that! He got through me playing! Oh, what's me guts doing way over there? The orc is dead, but the damage is done. The base camp is in ruins and the tech priest is dead. This is grave news, Commander. We cannot stop the Tyranids without the scans from the Astronomic Array. Do we have any leads on what happened to the tech priest reports? It seems the Array has attracted the attention of an orc named Ripa Splitter. He has stolen the data slate, giving the Array's location, and vanished into the deep jungle. We finally have Ripper Splitter's location. Review the mission briefing in your map display and then recover that data slate. This will allow us to finally pinpoint the Astronomic Array's location. These orc attacks are taking their toll, Captain, and drawing our attention away from the Tyranids. Is there any way we can deal a decisive blow that will stop them once and for all? Orcs are like the many-headed Hydra, Sergeant. 
cut off one head, and two more will often appear. But if we keep eliminating their chieftains, the true war boss will eventually appear. And when he does, we will deal the killing blow. Angelos out. Commander, we have finally located the orc who knows the location of the Astronomic Array. This orc is a mad alien who has been fused into one of their obscene war machines. This greenskin calls himself Ripper Splitter and is obsessed with technology. Destroy this alien walker and recover the location of the Astronomic Array. This is our only hope of finding a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet, Commander. Eliminate those orcs! Good work, Commander. We have recovered the stolen data slate and eliminated a major orc threat. But was the recovered data of any use? It was, Cyrus. I have determined the location of the Astronomic Array and uploaded it onto the planetary map display. In order to recover any data on the Hive Fleet, you will need to align the Array from the ground, Commander. Commander, we finally have the location of the Astronomic Array. The Array is powered, but we cannot establish a clear communications link with it. You must get to the Array and manually upload its data on the Tyranid Swarm. This will allow us to find a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet. This ancient astronomic array holds one of the keys to victory against the Tyranids. With its data, we can uncover weaknesses of the Hive Fleet. We must secure the array before others do. Astronomic Array is north of your position, Commander. Drop zone secure, Commander. Something is hunting orcs. Stay alert. Arcee oh, Sabre needs squishing. Enemy attack. Clear that area! Now you see something. Oh, oh, it oh, is done! done. Move on! Sealed gate, Commander. The tech priests install power generators to activate the ancient gates into the fortress, Commander. Cabling will lead to the generator. Ambush! Take cover! What was that thing? Tyranid, definitely. Well done. The gate is opening, Commander. Commander, I am no longer detecting any power output from the array. Something must have happened there. Orc looters! 
check on the array, quickly. Greenskins made a mess of this. Are you seeing this, Tech Marine? Yes, and it is no welcome sight. The orcs have removed a key power coupling. You must recover that coupling. We have coordinates for the orc looters, Commander. There! Eliminate that orc mech! Take me storm, boy! Yeah, nasty. That orcs are firing on us! There, the coupling. We have it. Return to the array. Data upload beginning. Well done. I now have a control link to the array and am receiving data. Commander, the data you recovered from the astronomic array has allowed us to find a critical weakness in the High Fleet. The High Fleet is controlled by a single massive creature that sits at the center of the fleet. If we manage to destroy it, the rest of the High Fleet will scatter and will be an easy target for our own fleet. With Angel Forge secure and the source of the Hive Mind identified, the battle goes well. It will all be for naught, however, if we cannot develop weapons with which to attack the Hive Mind itself. You must gather a biotoxin sample from a primary Tyranid Hive. The Chapter, the Sector and the Imperium itself are counting on you, Commander. Commander! We have finally located a primary hive in the swamps of Typhon. We believe this hive houses a toxin pool that can supply us with the pure genetic sample we have been searching for. If you can secure a sample from this toxin pool, we'll be able to produce the weapon we need to destroy the hive fleet. This toxin sample may also allow us to counteract the poisons that are killing Captain Thule. Secure the toxin sample immediately, Commander. The fate of the entire sector depends on it. At the heart of the Tyranid Hive lies the Reclamation Pool. We must have a sample of this purified essence. With it, we may revive Captain Thule. With it, we may develop weapons against the Hive fleet itself. on your map display. Collect the sample there. Understood. We've reached the toxin pool. Commander, develop the sample at the pool's edge. This will allow us to prepare an antitoxin for Captain Zool. Under attack! Tyranid warrior! Keep it off the commander! Tyranid of foes! Tyranid of It is done! Move on! Well done. Sample collected. Apothecary Gorian is analyzing the data to prepare the cure. We have the sample. Our work is done. Make for the extraction point marked on the map. Move on to the next one. Toxin analysis complete. Beginning revival. Captain Thule is with us again. Is that you, Emil? It is Thaddeus, Captain. Do you not recognize me? The secrets of Cronus shall not pass my lips. Captain Thule must rest now. His revival was a long and difficult process. Administering the antitoxin. Powering the armature. 
Captain Thule, can you hear us? Excellent work, Commander. Captain Thule's return could be the difference in our fight to save the Sector. It is good to see such a close friend and such a fierce warrior back from the dead. Even if he is confined to a dreadnought. Most importantly, the biotoxin sample you collected will allow us to develop a weapon with which to deal a killing blow against the High Fleet. We now have all the components necessary to mount a major strike at the High Fleet invading the Sector. The Litany of Fury will arrive in system in a matter of days. We will then equip our new weapons and mount an attack on the Hive ship that guides the entire Hive fleet. Not all news is good, however. Our surviving librarians say the Hive mind has become aware of our approach. It is likely to throw its most potent forces at key locations across the subsector. It remains to you to hold the sector until we arrive. Angelos out. Commander, the time has finally come to end the Orc threat with one crushing blow. We have finally located the Orc Horde's most powerful chieftain. Warboss Bone Smasher has led his Orcs against Imperial holdings across three worlds. The fear he inspires has been driving the Orc invasion. Bone Smasher is the ultimate leader of all the Orcs you have faced since your arrival in the subsector. He will not rest until he has conquered the sector. So long as this war boss lives, no human in the sector is safe. Puny, but you got guts. I like that. The beast is there, brothers. Priority target, drive forward. Enemy grenade. Eliminated. Relay a safe approach to the Thunderhawks for pickup. I will remember this day when the end comes. Commander, grave news. The Tyranid hive mind's efforts continue to stymie our travels through the warp. Our last astropath suffers now in the effort to transmit this message to you, and only a few librarians and navigators remain to guide us. It is unlikely the Litany of Fury will ever emerge from the warp. But if this is to be our end aboard this vessel, we die with pride, because the hive mind's efforts have clearly cost it. Our surviving librarian reports that the Tyranid fleet's main hive ship even now approaches planet Typhon to feed. This is the gargantuan organism that houses the brain of the hive fleet. Your strike force can deliver a killing blow while it feeds. I have transmitted a tactical briefing to your planetary map display. On a final note, you may tell Captain Thule that the secrets of Cyrene die with me. Angelos out. Commander, we have received orders from Captain Angelos to deliver several concentrated biotoxin doses to you. I have readied a contingent of Imperial Guard veterans to provide you with additional firepower during this critical mission. More hindrance than help. Many are veterans of Angel Gate, Commander. They see supporting you as a matter of duty. They will deploy in Valkyrie gunships and rendezvous with you on the surface of Typhon. Accept their help, Commander. In this battle, we are all brothers. Commander, I will remain aboard the Armageddon to provide fire support during your mission. And I will do the same from Thunderhawk 2. 
The Armageddon will not last long against an entire Hive fleet. It will last as long as we need it to, Cyrus. Getting the toxin to the capillary tower is all that matters now. Commander, your cruiser will punch its way into the mass of smaller Tyranid ships guarding the main Hive fleet. Once in position, the Armageddon will drop your hand-picked squad's fire drop pod toward the base of the massive capillary tower that is feeding the main Hive ship. Thanks to the data you collected earlier, Apothecary Gordian has readied a special biotoxin. You are to poison the tower, and through it, the brain of the Hive fleet itself. This should deal a lethal dose to the Hive mind, and send the Hive fleet into disarray. One way or another, this will be the last battle of the defense of Aurelia. May the Emperor grant us victory. Angelos out. The vile intelligence at the heart of the Hive Fleet has made itself vulnerable. Strike as its tendrils tap into the planet below. Feed it the poison we have developed. No matter the cost, you must bring it low. Commander, the Hive Fleet feeds through massive capillary towers. Each tower draws from many veins in the surrounding terrain. These veins are where you must deliver the biotoxin. You can read the equipment Armageddon! Come in! Come in! The first of the veins is ahead. Move out! Allied forces spot. Space Marines approaching. Sergeant Merrick, report. Xenos forced down our Valkyrie, sir. Scattered us across the damn landscape. Will take more than a few bruises to take us out of the fight, though. Third squad down to six men, Sergeant. No survivors from second. Right. Morris, form survivors into full squads and then inventory what gear we have left. Vagan. Get the remains of the first squad into a perimeter, and then get that blasted Ospex working. For the glory. Biotoxin delivery. Underway. Movement detected. Aliens on approach. Enemy attacks from the north. Concentrate last fire. Warrior beast, open fire. Poisoning 25% complete. Poisoning 75% complete. Pyramid in a book! Biotoxin administered successfully, Commander. The whole damn planet is infected! Commander, we need to administer another dose of biotoxin at a second site. There are exposed veins further along the ridge. Look at towers. And delivery starting now. Commander, north and south approaches are both vulnerable. Second dose delivered. That should be it. Always assuming this works. No mercy for the misguided. What? Yes! Die, you alien scum! Thank the Emperor! Surely this is Nova. Not the War Guardsmen, no. But our part in it is at an end. But the hives here on the ground will recover soon enough. And I can assure you that we will not last long. And the Armageddon is gone. We have nowhere to fall back to. Come, Thaddeus. Did you imagine any of us would return from this mission? No. 
I suppose I did not. But I cannot imagine a better end than this. Then I guess we better take as many of the damn bugs with us as we can. Well said, Sergeant. Well said indeed, Amethyst. Brothers, make yourselves ready. And may we meet again at the right side of the Emperor. It is done. Move on. This is Gabriel Angelos to the commanding forces on Typhon. Do you read? The fleet has arrived! Hold fast! You shall not fall this day! Commander, we have dropped a spread of relay beacons. Make your way to the closest one and activate it so we have a fix on your position. I am getting readings from one of the beacons, Commander. Marking it on map display. Hostiles grow in strength. It is done. Enemy destroyed. Beacon activated. Coordinates received. Drop pods away! Move on to the next target, brothers. Another triumph, brothers! Taste the fury of the Blood Ravens! Commander, we have one more task in this cursed place. The Hive Mind is using a powerful Alpha creature to maintain control over its land-based forces on this world. We must kill this beast. It will fall, Captain Angelos. The beast nests at the top of these ruins. Move out when you are ready, and I will accompany you. The rest of our forces will guard our flanks. the sector owe you a great debt, Space Marines. We did our duty, Captain. Nothing more. Few could have done it better, Cyrus. Long ago, the Emperor foresaw humanity's need for warriors unlike any of us. Warriors who could face the unbearable horror lurking among the stars. Who, on the day of certain defeat, would be victorious. You and your space marines are those warriors, Commander. Thanks to you, human life still thrives in Oregon. The Blood Ravens still have their recruiting worlds, and the Imperium still thrives in the Aurelia Sector. Your deeds will never be forgotten.